Welcome back to Crazy Hank TV and Classic Cartoon Friday. Yes, every Friday, I'm going to talk about an old cartoon that I consider a classic. And I thought I'd start off with one of my favorites of all time, The Flintstones. Now, The Flintstones is so old, it came out before even I was born. It started on ABC in 1960 and ran to 1966. It was the first animated series ever to have its own primetime slot. So think about you have The Simpsons, Family Guys, and on and on and on. That's very common. The Flintstones were the first animated series to have its own primetime slot. They say it's loosely based on The Honeymooners, a TV show with Jackie Gleason. I'm telling you right now, it's not loosely based. It is The Honeymooners. You can't help but think of The Honeymooners when you watch The Flintstones. Ralph Cramden is Fred Flintstone. Fred, Fred Flintstone is Ralph Cramden. So let's just stop the argument right there. You watch the show and you got to wonder, how does Barney and Fred, how did they end up with Wilma and Betty, they're both kind of attractive. You've seen Fred, but then you start thinking about all the guys on the show. None of the guys are probably attractive. None of the guys are probably, uh, like the women didn't have much to choose of. You, you look at the Water Buffalo Lodge guys, they're all goofy looking. So we can sum it up in so many words. There just wasn't much to choose from. Could Wilma and Betty have been sisters? They look exactly alike, except for the hair color. And Wilma has those soulless black eyes. She just, you know, there's, there's no, it's just dark circles there. Other than that, they could be twins. I think it was really smart with the Flintstones what they did because everybody, almost everybody has a, like a stone or a rock name. You have the Rubbles, the Flintstones. You have uh, Pebbles. <laughs> you have Mr. Slate. The only one that really doesn't have one is Bam Bam. Bam Bam, Bam he was Bam Bam because he would slam his, you know, his his stick, his, his club. Bam, 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 Bam. So that's how he got the name Bam Bam. One of my favorite episodes of all time, their favorite scenes from an episode is the Grand Canyon scene. They're on a trip and they says Grand Canyon. They come up to it, it's just a little tiny creek. It doesn't seem like much. And, and Fred says, it'll be, they said it'll be something someday. I find it humorous. There's a song they play for an anniversary, for Wilma and Fred's anniversary, called Happy Anniversary. Happy Anniversary, Happy Anniversary. Every time I hear that song, or every time I hear the word anniversary, I can't help but start singing that song. I don't know if, you're, if, you've, if you've seen the Flintstones, every time it says Happy Anniversary, Happy Anniversary, Happy Anniversary, drives me crazy. You gotta like that they had a pet dinosaur named Dino. But Dino wasn't, he was, he was kind of a coward, wasn't he? He wasn't really a brave dinosaur. And probably one of the most disliked characters was the great Kazoo. Um, he was voiced by Harvey Korman. He was, he was sent to Earth to repent his sins because he, he made a doomsday machine and it never really got answered. But a lot of people never liked, because they thought it was like jumping, the original Jump the Shark probably, because he could only be seen by Fred and Barney, kids and animals. Wilma, Betty, other adults could not see the Great Gazoo. So you kind of look at it and go, ah, you, know, you know, it's the final season. I guess they're trying to, it's almost like bringing a child in like the Brady Bunch did and the Partridge family did, you know. But it didn't work. And a lot of people today, if you talk to them, that's their least favorite character on the Flintstones. But overall, I love the Flintstones. It's fun how they, they switch the names around and how it's prehistoric. But it's still kind of modern. There's been movies made of it. They had other cartoon spinoffs of it. But that's probably one of my favorite cartoons of all time. If you kind of think of one that I should talk about, it, put it in the comment section. But we'll be back next Friday with a different cartoon. Thanks for watching. Tell a friend. I'm out. Bye.